What's up guys, Jufi here back with more videos and this one right here is interesting. Trust me, you're gonna wanna watch this and count how many times you cringe because this one is, is, is cringy, all right? Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe before I get into the video. This is coming from a new, I believe it's a CBS uh, film or something like that called Deconstructing Karen. And this is, <coughs> excuse me, Deconstructing Karen, Wokest Moments. Shout out to the channel that um, uploaded this video. Um, what is this? I'll, I'll get that. I'll, I'll get that to you at the, oh, Girl Boss video. Shout out to Girl Boss videos. Let's get into it. You know what I expect of white women? Not a damn thing. Nothing. I expect nothing of you because you have never given me anything. I can't trust you, okay? I am a liberal white woman. We are absolutely the most dangerous women out there. We are the most dangerous women that exist because we want to think that this is an extremely woke conversation. We are better. White women have abused us our whole lives. Why do we have to hold your hand? Can't we just tell you, hey, you guys have hurt us. This is what you've done. Now make it right. I See, she's saying white women have hurt us our whole lives. OK, those maybe some certain particular white women have. But damn, like you going to burn every white woman at the stake because 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 of the ones that hurt you. And how did they even hurt you? When, when, when someone like this, when someone like her is saying white women have hurt me, I, I, I find it hard to even like believe 100 percent because she could just be crying racism about something that wasn't even that big of a deal. But let's continue. I have this discussion with people that I know, friends, lawyers, everybody, and they'll say, well, Regina, you know, there are some good white people. And I'll go, well, what have the good white people been doing for the last 450 years? What have you been doing? Obviously, it's what? 450 years. It's not enough because nothing has changed. So I want to show. Huh? Nothing has changed in 450 years, guys. Drop drop your opinions on that one in the comments below, because that is crazy. Show of hands of everyone at this table who is racist. See, this is so weird to me. This is this is so confusing. You got people calling themselves racist. But but like, are they really though? Or or do they think they are because of some because of these two evil ass ladies. Look, man, I don't care what you say. I don't care what anyone says. Look, call me a coon. Call me whatever you want to call me. All right. But this level of wanting to be a victim so bad is crazy. I, I, I don't I don't even understand why. I don't understand why who who or why you would want to be a victim this bad. Clearly, though, it's working for them. They they got a they got a uh, Netflix or not Netflix, but they got a new documentary out, whatever. Deconstructing Karen's. It's working for him, and they doing they doing the race hustle, the race hustle shuffle. So I saw a couple people surprised that I raised my hand when I said that I was racist. I am racist against black people. So it's it's institutional. Indians are institutional. I was just gonna say she's not even white. Racist against black people. Indians are inst institutionally racist against black people. I did not know that. I don't see color. I don't see. So how she said, I'm, I'm blinded to color. Like it doesn't phase me at all. Y'all, when we bleed, we bleed red. I'm just going to drop the bomb here. That's white supremacy. Wow. Color blindness is white. supremacy. Learn something else. So you, you can't, you can't not see color. You can't not see color. That's, that's, that's also racist. Supremacy. Do not teach your kids to be colorblind. Do not talk about colorblindness. Don't say that, that I don't see the color of your skin and we cut ourselves open. It's bleeding red. If you're going to cry, leave the table and go into the living room there. That's right there. When a white woman starts crying, what happens? All the Everyone attention is the When I was in Charleston, South Carolina. Oh my God, white women can't cry. South Carolina <laughs> last summer. This is crazy. I get into my lift. And the guy turned around and looked at me and he said, lady, he goes, I hate to have to say this to you, but if, if I get pulled over, you're just another black woman. And uh, he's black. And he said, put your hands up 
do as they say, do not make any trouble. He actually told you that. Yeah, of course. Oh, dear God. Of course. It, that's the life he him. lives. And so that's I his reality. But that's, that's insane. But that, that's his reality. Anger. She's worried that her kids are gonna I'm die. So what is it? I cannot remember a time that I have not woken up in the middle of the night in a cold sweat. I wanna ask also to stop acting shocked. So part of white feminism- Is it really that bad? You waking up every night in cold sweats because of racism. Man, like I said, this this level of wanting this level of wanting to be a victim is crazy, and the only the only reason I can see why they they do this is for the 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 monetary benefit for the money because I'm just I'm I'm shocked I'm shocked this video this video has me at a loss for words I mean I guess you can look some people may look up to these people and see this as a uh, as a, a level a certain level of success man but I don't care how much money these people have I would never ever 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 in my life want to be like them is is acting so surprised when it we tell you but it is not, why are you telling us not to act the way that we act if it is surprising because to that me that is surprising white, that upholds white supremacy why are your feelings so hurt like that's the thing you can't do this. You can't do this. You can't act surprised. It's all white supremacy. What makes you think? What makes what makes people of color think that that white people are thinking about us all day? Like white people don't got nothing better to do. Like they don't got kids, families, jobs, hobbies, passions, a life. They just sit at home think about black people all day and people of color. But why are your feelings more important than the reality? And look, and this ain't to dismiss the actual racist people that might exist, but when you have people running around playing charades like this, this make-believe game that they playing, running around just crying and being a professional victim, how you ever gonna find out? How you ever gonna find the real? The real, the real is is the real is in disguise because so many people crying about fake stuff. The violence of our lives. You walk through the world with a different experience because you are a white woman. Duh. I, I, I wanna go. <laughs> so I can't sit here? <laughs> you gotta go. Sorry. Lady, what you crying for? Yes. I think I have a little bit of a problem with the we versus I. I think that there is the big perpetual we, right? We white women for sure. But I think there's also we African Americans and the we were slaves, right? And we, these things happen to us. That doesn't happen to everybody, right? I mean, and, and you, I, I understand. And I, I, am, I am here. It happened to all African Americans. Yeah. It didn't happen to you. Listen, oh <laughs> listen. One of the things that we know, one of the Absolutely. things, let me just I, say. I have a lot of Native American Science. history, and I don't take Science. advantage of any of that. I, Time out. Are you saying that black people African Americans, descendants of slaves, are taking advantage of that. No, you just said that's you have, not what I, I'm saying. You, Absolutely. These dinners, we see white women behaving badly, and that bad behavior looks like denial of white supremacy, denial of racism, and even denial of slavery. This is nothing new. Why is it that being called a racist makes you so upset? It doesn't make me upset anymore. I believe that every white person is racist because of the system. And I had to learn about the system to get that. Do I love you less because you're a different color? Absolutely not. But do you realize that everything you're saying is taking away everything they just said? That is such bullshit. Everything I'm you just said is such bullshit, frankly. It but it is. It is. But it, it is. is. You literally erased everything yes. this. Like, I'm, I'm wondering, I'm wondering how did this come together? Like, these women had, the, the white women, um, sitting opposite of these two, the 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 queen, the two queen bees right here, they had to have come on this show voluntarily. I don't think this was some random handpicked stuff. I'm pretty sure they knew that they were going to this type of sit down right here. But I don't know, man. It just to me is so strange to want to to want to police people's lives so bad, so badly to tell people how to live and tell them that. That you know, it's it's like they they use the R word. Y'all know what I'm talking about, racism. To control to control, you know, white people. Is 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 make you feel guilty, and then and then you comply, and and you live you live life the way they tell you to live your life. Man, look, I don't care what color I am, white, brown, blue, purple. 
nobody there nobody nobody is going to come up to me with this level of arrogance sitting sitting over me like thinking that they that they're better than me t- talking down to me telling me how to live my life because of the color of my skin that's the only reason why these these ladies are talking to these white women like that because they're white and i mean okay at the end of the day these ladies will go back to the home they homes everything will be fine it's really no big deal but you know when you got people saying like oh crt is a myth and they don't tell people that you shouldn't they don't they don't um uh, no one's preaching uh, white hate and this is all we're all just making this stuff up this just like this movie just went live and this is from cbs like a, a major news publishing media outlet major news media company this is bonkers this woman just said like everything you know how not, racist this country not is not to the degree that you do oh no me, you right? will never know you keep coming back with this, frankly, BS about love being love and love Trump. It's like I've been hurt, I've been oppressed, so you can't tell me nothing and I can tell you everything. Does that sound right? Like, we've all been hurt. Everyone's been hurt. You know what I'm saying? The people at the top trying to hold, trying to keep everyone down, it's, 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 not, it's, not, it's not as much about color as people want to make it want to make a scene but people like this people like these two ladies it's all about color for them it's all about it's all about race and it's all about dollar signs like what do you mean by that what i mean is that beyond the anger and the problems that we are feeling that there is something more to our our beingness and it isn't the flesh it isn't does love does love um save the mexicans who are in ice facilities does love save Trayvon Martin? Does love save Sandra Bland? Love is love. It's all just one big emotional heartstring. That the heart heart heartstring pulling on your heartstring. That's all that's all she's doing. That's all she's doing. That's all she's doing. That's it. Love is fucking love. Seriously. So who in this room raise your hand if you're a racist? Dang! <laughs> Job accomplished. We, you just created more racist people. See now, now, now these these will be the same. These will be the same groups of people right here. This will be the same table of white women telling black conservatives that they better vote for um, for, I don't know um, uh, Pete Buttigieg or else or else we not black. <laughs> like that's all they've done. That's all they've done is just create create a a a, a room even bigger full of virtue signaling phonies man i don't like it i don't i don't like this i don't care man if i if i was white i would have told him to go suck it i would have never even went on this stupid ass show but all right y'all that's it for the reaction i told you this was gonna be this is gonna be a, a doozy don't forget to like comment share and subscribe when you're at the door that was nuts i'm out till next time peace